I love the look he gets when he's like eating. That. Good morning. We have ground the funds and have moved the Holt siblings into this tiny home residential. It's tier two. I have no idea how tiny homes work. Anyway, we are starting episode two with these guys because the three, the three trademark came to the doorstep. So Leslie, uh, Ted Roswell, and Jess are at the door. And before I hit that play button, let's let's take a look at their faces. Everyone's just standing. <laughs> the reason why I find this so intriguing is because you know, Jess, they 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 look normal. Ted looking particularly like wow his face is totally different from how I usually see him Zim? how I usually see him I always see Ted and Leslie out of it like they are full-on possessed I have never seen them snapped out but Jess because I have played in Strangerville without checking out the mystery for a very long time. Shiro, Keith, like the first part of the Holtz, like they, I did not check the mystery out. I practically ignored the mystery. None of them came knocking on Shiro's door. They came knocking on Keith, but like quickly resolved that. Jess is actually normal during the day. By the sun, by the time the sun dips down, that's when she goes crazy, and that's super cool to me. Anyway, here we go, here we go, guys. The Holtz, more or less, a first encounter, like direct encounter. Actually, no, they have encountered these three before on their own um, house, but now that they're in to the mystery, they're gonna be like, oh my god. Yes, they're here, coming to our doorstep! My only regret... Well, not really. Mm, is that... When the... When the... Covert Ops come... They might get the fridge, and this is an expensive fridge. They're not exactly... Like... I mean... I guess if we get... A really sweet gig... We'll get funds for a new fridge without a hitch. Also, hey, it's Dylan. I forgot Dylan's a part of this. Wait, he he's bearing the cake this time. Anyway, hey, Hi, uh... knock knock knock. Hi. I'm not gonna lock the door. I'm gonna say hi to everyone. Invite the neighbors. E. She's possessed. Hi! Matt's just like, what is Matt doing? Oh, he's hacking Zaya. money. <laughs> Sorry. Um, are you okay? This is. Matt's just like, I cannot be bothered right now. I am trying to, like, get money for us. What's Pitch trying to. Oh, she's trying to, like, talk with. Um. God, look at Dylan. He looks amazing. Take a piece? Oh my. You know what? They would. I mean, no, not Pidge, but like Matt would. Did we interact? Yeah, they're still around. I think, I suppose. You know what? Yeah, let's like say. Oh, are they just loitering? Snap out of it. Listen to incoherent rambling. I like what happens when they try to snap these people out of it. It's like inhuman strength. Oh wait, no! 
Whoa. That did not happen with Shiro. Try to talk to Dylan? I don't know. I'm very fond of Jess. I'm not too fond of... um. What are they doing? Oh, they're just staring up the level up? <laughs> Look, what? What did he say? Look to the sky. It welcomes us all. I see. I see. Hey, Jess. How are you? I am very fond of Jess. Because, like... Hey, 135 bucks. Nice. I'm very fond of Jess. You know why? They planted every... Oh, tulips. Keith needs tulips. Keith? I would like Keith to come into this house. Pretty soon. So he can graft some... Okay, the reason why I like Jess, join us. Consume the fruit of the mother and no peace. I would. Matt would. Pidge might not, but Matt would. They are actually friends! Yeah, bye guys. Thank you for stopping by. But Jess is out. Jess is on her way. I like Jess because um, when they first came to the whole house... She was possessed? As she is. Oh, they're all feeling a little sleepy. Join us in the crater. Sure thing. Jess actually helped Colleen plant stuff in her possessed state. Let's enthuse about what just happened. So that was like, when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's so sweet. Are the fe feds, I say feds, sorry. Are the covert ops coming? Pretty soon, pretty soon. Unless someone wants to take a bite of that kit. Matt, do you want to try? Oh. Uh, who are they? Kari Lott and Mackenzie Lynn. Hi. Uh, thanks, bro. No, my fridge. Um, it's on the counter, though. Okay, she's grabbing it. Oh no, our fridge! How on earth did we get 7,000 bucks? Nothing to see here. They didn't get my fruits though. Well, that's the advantage of having a nicely built well, I would say like, nicely, like custom built lot. Let's take all these fruit for ourselves. <laughs> okay. So. they I don't think they could reach this thing on the counter. That's why they're like, yeah, we're going to take your fridge. Because I think the game thinks that it's, um, that they usually put it in the fridge, but no, it's on the counter. Gourmet fruitcake. I am now going to be able to experience eating this dang fruitcake. I am kind of scared. But let's replace this fridge because, wow, thanks. But first, before you lose your mind, Let's hang. Let's dry the laundry. Mm -hmm. It's cleaned up. Yeah, let's actually try to dry her. I do enjoy the laundry day stuff. I don't know. I just like seeing them. Like, it's inconvenient sometimes, but if you have a smallish family, like, it's, it's pretty fun. It's, pre it's pretty fun. Handiness level 3. Is Pidge handy enough? I mean, I don't think they necessarily need to use the clothes. Oh, sh level 2. Well. 
Let's get some leftovers. Actually, yeah, it's still it's still there. Oh gosh, here we go. Let's let's take a piece. Ooh. Good luck. It's yeah, good luck, plate. sir. He's fine. Agaraba. I think. Oh, they're using the counter. Oh, nice. Vinny. Boo sharp, Kumiao. And Fabi I'm like scared. <laughs> Frange. Ah, uh, Hatsuyabe. Loopspe. Venerba. Raga. Benefi. Sick of food. Okay. Frange Bishoshi. Was there any. Was there really any fruit in that cake? Doesn't matter. It was delicious. They have. They have fruitcake? Merkid Quinofa. Yes. Like, is this Bluebee. normal ass food cake? Oh, and four If the covert ops don't take it away, like it's actually just normal food cake. Yeah, sure, let's put it away. Clean up the plates. Yeah, Matt's feeling fine. <laughs> Alright. Clean up this plate, too. Ho, 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 ho. Ho ho to you too, sir. Yeah. The the question of the beds. Oh, he can only sit. I might have to situate some sort of couch. Actually, can he? Yeah, he can nap. All right. Well, actually, no. I want you to sleep, and I want someone to try and nap here. See. They just curl up beside. Oh gosh, that is such a tight fit. Look at her knees. Where's Matt going? Matt, 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 bro. Uh, what did I want she to do? Sleep. <laughs> Pause. I want to take a photo. It's a very nice. Whoops. Nicely greened house, but also it's just way too small for two people. My image is that they take, they sort of take shifts. It is five in the evening. Yeah, you won't get much sleep on a couch, but let's go hang out with Chiro and Heath. Hello, Mama. She's hungry. She, her daily task is to practice, ch practice, practice chess. I want her. I want her, yeah, like Dad's over there already. I want her to practice chess with him, but later. Social. Yeah, let's chat with Mom for a sec. How are you, Ma? Ask about D. So, yeah. so, what is he wearing? Oh, workout. Umbraza? Huh? <laughs> yes. Mona Corvo. Dark as Eve now. Yeah, the same. Shivney. Putin the fish. Can the Thor of Fibony. For real. Ma, is there anything you can tell me about the mysteries of this town related to your work, etc., etc., etc.? Aw, Pa's coming over too. Look at this family. Ma needs to go to work. No way. Why? Oh, because it's six in the evening. Huh. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um. Bye. Love you, Ma. Bye. Oh, thanks, Pa. He's uh, he's cleaning that up. Bye, Ma. Aw, Betsy. Okay. Let's travel. Uh, no, 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 not today. 
Oh, hey. He's Metalura. Wait. Uh, just, just by himself. He's gonna visit Shiro and ask permission from his grandparents to whisk their beloved grandson away to the center, to, to, the, to the town center. In the pure interest of solving the mystery, of course. <clears throat> Nothing else? Knock knock. Bing bong. Hug someone. Aw. You get your hug sooner or later. <laughs> Wait, where's Shiro? He's tense, he wants to exercise. He's in his room. Uh let's talk about Stranger but actually yeah. Let us talk about Strangerville. Oh, the ghosts are wandering around in your house again. Oh, he's rubbing neck. Do you want me to brighten your day? Can I brighten your day? Please. Ubraza? Huh? Oh. <laughs> yes. oh! He's feeling tense. I want to hug him. I want to brighten his day. I want to hear him. You know, like, you know, you know. He 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 looks happy. Oh. Uh, did we brighten his day? I hope so. Hi, Grandpa. Oh, look at his sweet face. Uh, let's. Grebo for Bane, Gulfliff. Inside joke. What is happening? What are you talking about? Oh, is it like a dramatic story? Ha ha ha! Very interesting. Aww, that's nice. Uh. Let's keep talking. Like it's plot. <laughs> it's plot. Oh, she just. Oh, I thought she was communing with the spirits unprompted because that'd be cool. Oh, yeah, he's a little bit tense. He likes the grandparents well enough, but he actually he's only actually ever. Talked with Fleeta. Grandma. The conspiracy. I cannot read at 2 a.m. The conspiracy theorists around here believe the military is behind some cover up. You're part of the military. I mean, I guess, like, that's what he feels a little uncomfortable about being in the military with his position and all that. Let's keep talking. Let's keep talking. I wonder if it would be <laughs> like nerves. beneficial to <laughs> switch your aspirations. <laughs> I think it would. I think it would. <laughs> Local library has scientists. Do you want to? <laughs> now that your grandparents are out the room. Oh. Sure, this is weird. I have no idea if they're dating. <laughs> I think they're dating. Are you dating? Oh god. Really? I like you. Please don't go. Please. Mm. I'm trying to ask you to like move in to the base. Actually no, join the household. He doesn't quite know um the intentions of the holtz so he's just independently wanting to ask if you know he wants to join the household i have no idea why i mean is it just be like more convenient personally gameplay wise but plot wise why see why is this option here if they aren't dating yet oh because their romance is low okay um god what do i want you to do Grandma's here. Shumba, smirks, yeah. Chibi. Chibina. 
fine. Let's just pop the question. Let's pop the question. It's the most nerve-wracking thing, Keith. Is telling himself to do today. He doesn't even know why. I think that's on brand. Like, why am I why am I asking Shiro to live with us? Good lord. Hey. Click OK. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Funds. Oh man. I swear. <laughs> These two have their pensions. Which we aren't privy to. Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna take money away from them. Like, they need that. Bye. Right. Look at his concentrated face. Hey, I boy. love that. Pleva. Oh, yeah, he's like, yeah, I have my happy Baba. face when I'm talking to you. But when I'm like, concentrating on running, I look really sexy. Oh, hey. Shows with me. He's just, you know, working out. I did not notice that first. I was like looking at the side, Sims 2 style, like, huh. Where are the faces? They're at the bottom of the screen. Keith, you can go home. I'll meet you at the house. I'll get ready. You can say goodbye to Grandma. Encourage Hyoko to <laughs> Friendly. Um. Uh, flatter. Oh, express admiration. Bye, Grandma. I'll be rooming with this really cool friend that I've been talking to you about constantly. And I'm gonna visit and... Uh. I don't know why I'm exactly choosing to room with him, but I'll visit. I just... Mm, seems like an impulse decision, I know. Why are we chatting beside the pool? It's like a prolonged sleepover. Don't judge. But I'm gonna miss you. I'm just gonna be in town center. See ya. Bye. Go home. He's just walking out there with the shorts on his hips. No shoes, no clothes. <laughs> just a man with a dream. And because he's tired, he's gonna walk all the way there. Oh god, barefoot. Shiro, honey. We need to get you a bed. Even if it's the one shoved up against the wall, I'm very sorry. I don't know why I invited you to this house. It just seems like a funny decision? Impulse decision that they'd make? I don't know. Now I have to find a place where he could sleep. Like a corner. I wonder if he can get in this way. Let's test it. Can he get in? Well, yeah, he's sleepy mostly. Can he? Where is he? Can he? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Can he? There's three different colors of family right now. He's like, hi, Keith. Oh, thank you. He can. Oh hell yeah. Na 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 katamari privacy Good. Um what covers do you want? Sun? <laughs> Jesus. I guess yeah, if it's the living room.
living with Keith now. I don't know why we made this decision, but it seems like a good one. It's easier for um, Matt and Paige and Shiro and Keith to sort of interact and be friends. Although Shiro does still have work. Hi, Mom. Oh. I wish, like... A hug. I wish there was still the option in Sims 2 to have a family kiss. I think that's, a, like, a very nice, you know, <laughs> you know thing they did. <laughs> Let's sleep. Good night, babe. I am exhausted. Oh, you asked Shiro to move in? That's his bed. Okay. Why did we make this decision? Why did he agree to it? Like, they're secretly pining for one another, and Shiro's like, ah, <laughs> Yes, of course I'd move in. Bye, Grandma! Grab, bye, Grandma! I peeked. Sure, it would peak too. Like, it's not as if it's like a huge life decision. I mean, like, it's like what the, like what, I was gonna say Sam and Pidge. Like what Matt and Pidge are doing. Like, they can go home at any time and use their own beds at any time. The bathroom at any time. Etc, etc. Lloyd is excellent. And so is Jerry. I love their house. It's like born of gameplay. And I love houses like that. Because there's like lots of funny little knickknacks. Like frogs everywhere and fishes and fish bowls. And the fact that they can now afford a washer and a dryer and raise a cow plant. I think that's neat. Who's up? Who's up? Oh no, honey. I go, oh, God, I'm hungry. And Keith's gonna like burst the nerve because he didn't know Shiro slept in panties. Very lovely lacy panties. I wonder what he's thinking right now. Like, oh God, I'm living in my crush's house. Why did my crush ask me to move in? They have a very nice garden. I love the look he gets when he's like eating. That. I want to do something nice for them, so I'm going to do their laundry. That sounds like a fic plot. Pretty sure I've read something like that before. And it also relates to the discovery of really cute underwear. It's a nice fic. Go check it out. Search pockets. I should clean that up. He will learn. It's like skills internship. Internship. Being at this house. Because it's a very homegrown house. You learn things. Cause you can't replace them so you learn how to fix the sink you learn how to fix the bathtub you learn how to fix the toilet you learn how to fix the fridge have you ever had experience with the wash tub i think i want to give him such an experience so harvest some roses and wash harvest roses and wash clothes by hand. They build character. He's just puttering about the house. He's the scup. He's, he's, he's homing. It doesn't matter when Betsy gets fed. She just gets hungry in the morning at, and at night. The cow plants in Sims 2, they get hungry in relation to when you feed them. So if you just recently fed them, they will not get hungry, like regardless of the Regardless of the hour. You are now acquainted with the Kogane family cow plant. 
I like that his hours are like military hours. It's morning, early morning, and like night. It's very Boy Scout of him. Yeah, we were just watching Shiro hang out. <laughs> He's washing some clothes. It's very quaint. I love the clutter of some of these stuff packs. Oh, Kisa. Hi. Kisa's like, Shiro, what are you doing? Research. Tend, actually. My mom's up too. And mom's like, I'm hungry! And I'm dry. Take a take a bath. The Shiro? No, where is he going? Oh, the lemon tree needs some loving. I don't know if Shiro knows that Keith's mum is a gull rummer. Sorry, we haven't been able to go to the sea. I mean, it's the weekend. That would be like the perfect time to sort of just <laughs> chill and hang out. Like, I know that they're discovering all these sorts of things about each other. Like, Shiro previously did not know Keith's learning the guitar. He's learning how to wash things by hand. He is now going to do an epic workout because that's how he is. Where is father? Move laundry to the dryer. Where is he? Dad? Oh, okay. Dad? Like, Shiro doesn't need to do their chores, but because, you know. It's like a courtesy thing. Thank you for housing me, so I will pick up the pace. Ha, ah, son. What are your intentions? <laughs> With my son. Mama wants to eat. Geek. Aw. She's just like, oh god. I need a day off. Listen to this boy's play. It's so sweet. Uh, let's take a shower. A speedy shower. And then we'll check out those nerds at the trailer. He's just on his own. Doing as he pleases. I appreciate that. I say this because there was a point in the game. <laughs> because I turn off autonomy for the selected sim. So if the sim isn't selected, he can do whatever he wants. But there was a point in the game that Shiro was just doing whatever he wanted. Even if, um... He was my selected sim. So I was just like, uh, honey. Go do whatever you want. Live your life. You beautiful boy, you. Okay, let us hang out at the trailer. Travel with Cheryl.